In our first example of an LL predictive parser using a table here, here we have a little bit of slightly different input. We have an int star int plus int. Now we could prove that that input will work with the grammar given using a parse tree, but that's really what this table is for. Now remember, we always start off with the E dollar sign, and we should have a dollar sign at the end of our input as well, because again, at the end, we want to make sure that we end with two dollar signs. That's our accept state. Also remember, if we find a match, like we're going to with E and int, we're going to go ahead and do a we're going to pop and we're going to head and do a push a T and X onto the stack. So now we have a T on top of the stack and we still have our first input symbol of int. We match it to, we at least are successful, we're going to pop, but we're also going to go ahead and push an int Y onto the stack. So now here's where we get to start deleting things from the input string. We have a match with our stack and our input, so we're going to go ahead and pop from the stack, and we're going to increment next to our next input symbol, which will now be the multiplication sign. So for our next row, we have a Y and the multiplication symbol. We're going to match those up. We do have a match, so we're going to pop. We're also going to go ahead and push multiplication T to the stack. This line we do have a match with symbols. We have multiplication in both positions. So we're going to go ahead and pop and next to the next line. For the next line, T and, and int matches up. So we're going to go ahead and do a pop and then push Y. Here we have a match of ints for the stack and the input. So we're going to go ahead and pop and next. Next we have Y and the plus. And notice that's our first epsilon. So we are going to pop but there's no real push because it would be just the epsilon. Epsilon is null. This time we have x and plus. So that's going to have a go ahead and pop and push a plus e. Here we have a matching set of pluses. So we're going to go ahead and pop and go to next. We have an e and an int. So we're going to go do a pop and a push tx. Next we have a T and an int, so we're going to match those up and we'll get our pop and a push int Y. Here we have matching two ints, so we're going to go ahead and do a pop and a next. Here's where things really start collapsing. Here we have a Y and a dollar sign. Notice that's an epsilon, so we're going to go ahead and pop, no push. And then we'll have the exact same thing for when we have X and a dollar sign. We're going to pop and no push. And this is where we finally get to our matching dollar signs.